In this video, we are gonna be throwing as much as we can at the Ronin S. I know a lot of you guys ask me to make more rigging videos or gimbal setups, which I typically don't do, but since you guys wanna see more rigging options on the Pocket 4K and any other cameras, I'm gonna go ahead and start doing that. Additionally, I am gonna try and switch from a single handle like this, the digital photo, to the DJI Ronin two handles, two handed handles uh, for a couple of reasons. Uh, the first reason I'm hoping by switching to this, I can get lower shots a lot easier because with this setup, it gets a little bit heavier. So I'm trying to get some low angle shots and hopefully this thing right here will help me out. So let's go ahead and go over what we have on the table because it's quite a bit. So the first thing is obviously the Ronin S with a counterweight system on the right. We have a rod here, a 15 mil rod. We have a USB uh, 2.0 to a 3.0 USB-C. We got a couple of tools here that'll help us we have the Pocket 4K with a tilt a half cage. It has an ND filter in front of it and a ring, a little focus gear ring here. It has batteries, it has memory cards. So this is the complete setup here, even with an ND filter. We have the dual grip DJI Ronin S edition accessory. We have a ribbon style HDMI, which will come in handy here, hopefully. We have some screwdrivers. We have the Tilta Nucleus N battery, the wheel for the Tilta Nucleus, and we have a monitor with a battery. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm gonna do is remove this handle from digital photo, because we're gonna be replacing it with this one. And uh, make sure you guys grab some popcorn, because this might take a while. off that is the actual handle itself put that back so that's good to go I'm gonna go ahead and put the actual leg that comes with it tighten that up stand it up and let's go ahead mount the Ronin S back on all right so what I'm gonna do next is I'm just gonna do a quick quick balance on the camera quick balance with the camera, I mean. So when you're balancing, you wanna make sure everything that you're planning to use is actually on the camera itself before you do anything else. So let's go ahead and put the rod on there. Now I have the rod installed at the bottom of the cage. Slip this in. And now what we're gonna do is put the motor on there. I'm just lining it up here. Okay. And then I'm gonna tighten the Nucleus Nano N. Okay. Now for the cable, I'm gonna try and power the Nano with the Ronin S. So I'm gonna try and use this little thing there and I'm gonna plug it in here. And I'm hoping that that would work. The USB from the DJI Ronin S right here will not power the Nano N, so we're gonna have to think of another way to power this motor. So what, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and install the handle because the handle has a lot of mounting options. So maybe we can mount a rechargeable battery or a portable charger to power this thing on. So let's put this to the side and maybe we can make it work. Yeah, it's gonna be bottom heavy now, which is fine. Let's open it up. Comes with this little circle that goes around the neck of the gimbal. Got your natal rails, and you have your handles. You should have your screws and stuff. So let's go ahead, and figure out how to put this handle. Okay. 
Alright, that's true. The thing that drew me into this business is Pussy Davis. That's not a lot of money. So let's see if that's really the case. So, we'll go over the front. And then... Two different studies. So, boom. Okay, so now what we do is just go ahead and put two tiny. One. Can you tell me what I'm going to do? It's actually... Go ahead. Okay. Nice. 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 Is put these things on. So I'm gonna loosen it up. There you go. Okay. Just take a look at the other side. Just a little button that you gotta press down for you to slide it smoothly. And I'm gonna loosen this up. There it goes. That's it. Turns out I need more stuff than I originally laid out. So what we have is a portable phone charger, which you can get a small one nowadays. This is pretty big. This is 10,000 uh, mAh, 38.08, no, 38 watt hour portable charger. We have a phone, Manfrotto phone holder, and we have a double screw. I don't know what this is called, but it pretty much has two males on it. So what we're gonna do is screw it on the phone holder, clip the phone holder, on the actual quarter 20 on the handle itself, which like I said, it's really nice because it has all this mount holes. We put that there. I'm going to just turn it a little bit. And then I'm gonna put the handle as you can see, I'm putting the handle on top because like I said, I want to get some lower uh, shots, but if you want it the other way around, you can just flip these wing little uh, NATO rails and do it the other way. But like I said, I'm trying to do this so I can get some low shots. So that's why I have it at the bottom like this. Go ahead and loosen this up. There. I mean, now I can really should be able to get some low shots with this. Okay, so let's go ahead and, man, look at that clearance. Barely clear it with that thing on. Okay, now we have a cable. That should work. So let's go ahead and go back to our original plan of putting this on and we're actually gonna yeah, we're going to try and put it right at the bottom so the weight is distributed a little bit better. I'm just going to clip it on for now. Okay, see that? It's already shifting the weight. Now what's cool is the actual battery pack is not part of the, uh, the slate, so you don't have to worry about the balance, but you do have to worry about this right here because I'm pretty sure this is going to change it just a slight, just slightly. Yep, there you go. That power is on, perfect. Now I have power on my Nucleus Nano. So now we're gonna do solid. Okay, so moving up is gonna struggle because I have a short cable here. But like I said, the cable, you can just get a longer and thinner one. So let's go ahead and keep going just for the sake of this video. Okay. So now I'm gonna add the other handle. Loosen it up. Okay. Okay, so I said earlier in the beginning of the video, I'm gonna try and throw as much stuff as I can on this setup. So our next plan is throwing a monitor on there. And obviously the focus wheel for your follow focus. So let's go ahead and do that. Now the old handle that I had on there originally 
had my little quick release from my uh, focus wheel. So let's go ahead and take that off. Now the monitor itself, I have a small rig, NATO. I think that's NATO. If this is NATO, this is NATO. This should work. Okay, there. So it is NATO. Sweet. So I'm gonna go ahead and it's kind of an awkward spot there. It's gonna hit my monitor a little bit. Okay, it looks like I might actually have to put my monitor on an arm. Okay, I'm back. Hopefully that's the last trip. Monitor arm on the side of the Ronin. Push I mean, now that I'm thinking about it, I can even maybe put a V-mount battery here, to be honest, but that's for maybe later. Uh, okay, so we have the V-mount. Shit. Now we have the monitor arm. Now I can have my monitor way out here. Now, if you're trying to get low angle shots, a monitor is a must have. You definitely, you're gonna need a monitor of some sort. See, look at this, this is why I don't like monitor arms. All right, so we have the monitor. Now what I'm gonna do is install, I'm gonna move this out of the way. Now we're gonna have to install the, the um, focus wheel. I'm gonna try and see if I can put the focus wheel underneath here and just do it like that. You don't focus anyway. See this up here. Okay. Right, okay. Now, another cool thing is, if you want, you can actually get a tilta handle um, for the actual focus wheel. That's really cool, but you're gonna have to spend more money. So, here's our handle. The battery should already be in there. Let's go ahead and see if I can turn it on. There, focus wheel is working. It's going up and down a little bit because I probably put the wheel on there too tight. So let me just ease it off. There you go. Okay, so let's turn this on. I'm gonna turn the camera on. Okay, it's not engaged enough. I can already tell you that I'm gonna have to calibrate this weight with the app because it's changed since I last, last calibrated it, the setup changed. Okay, so that's on. It's wobbly, but like I said, I'm gonna have to calibrate it. Close it up. Now it's blocking my view a little bit, but it's not too bad. There. It's a fucking, it's a monster. All right, the last part of this is the HDMI. Now this is really tricky because this will change your balance as well. So that's why I'm trying to see if this ribbon one will work. So HDMI in. and then HDMI out from the camera. The HDMI cover is hitting my ribbon. 
so I might have to remove that okay I had to remove the cover for the HDMI see if this will work now there perfect it's a right angle one so that's why and as you can see that really shouldn't change the left and right balance but now it's a matter of will it work so let's turn the monitor on and another cool thing is this monitor is not connected to your slate your sl uh, it's not connected to your actual weight of the gimbal so that's kind of sweet yep it's working I can probably get a shorter ribbon HDMI. All right, so what I'm gonna do is actually put this um, monitor in front of me, closer to me. There. I don't know why I had it on the other side, that was stupid. Okay, so I have a handle. What I'm gonna do now is try and um, balance it and just to see how it looks. All right, so I got pan excellent, roll excellent, and tilt excellent. If you can see that. I don't know if you can. So, yeah. Now, whenever it's stopped being so crappy and rainy outside, should be able to test this baby out. Man, that motor must be really... It's probably not on maximum. All right, so let's go ahead and auto-tune it. All right Calibration success. There it is, that's much better. All right, so I think my battery ran out on my monitor here. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Now you have I can get pretty darn low with this. Like that. I wouldn't have been able to do that with the other handle that low. It's, it's not possible. But now I also have a follow focus, which I think I'm gonna put on top here instead of down here. And there you go. I actually like that better. Okay, let's put this here. So now I can really get this monitor right by my hand. And there you go. But the good thing about it is I can move it with it. See, turn it on. Oh, I changed the channel, so let's go to five. There. Cool.